They believed in Allah and along with Allah, some other gods. So they had some part of the charity reserved for Allah. فَقَالُوا هَذَا لِلَّهِ بِرَعْمِهِمْ And they said, according to their own belief, this is for Allah. This we keep for Allah. وَهَذَا لِشْرَقَائِنَا And this is for our associate gods. We have to please them also. If they get angry from us, then we will be doomed. Now the most, you know, interesting thing is, فَمَا كَانَ لِشْرَقَائِهِمْ فَلَا يَسَلُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ what they reserve for their associate God, it cannot go towards Allah. It cannot join, it cannot be added to the portion that they have reserved for Allah. What they have reserved for Allah, it is added to the portion of the associates. Very bad and evil what they are doing. And what was the reason? Although they thought that Allah is bigger, highest, and these goddess, gods and goddesses which we are worshipping, they are smaller ones. But you know, they fear the smaller ones more. Because if you take the case of a villager, for example, he knows that there is a head of the state also. But he has never to deal with him. He is dealing with the patwari. You know, the lowest revenue officers or officials, he has to deal with them. They can remit their revenues and etc. and etc. So actually they have to fear them, not the head of the state. There is the head of the state, no doubt they know. But actually they fear more the lowest, you know, officials. In the same way, although they believed in Allah, but actually they wanted more to please these lower gods, smaller gods. So the portion reserved for the, for the, their associate gods could go to the couldn't go to the portion of the of, of Allah, but the portion fit for Allah could be mixed with that. Second, وَكَذَلِكَ زَيَّنَ لِكَسِيرِ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ قَتْلَ عَوْلَادِهِمْ شُرَكَاهُمْ In the same manner, some of their associate gods have made it very beautiful for them to kill their offsprings. They presented their offsprings also as a gift to their gods and goddesses. Just as they are giving some gift to their gods and goddesses from the crop, from the animals, in the same way, killing their offsprings, sons, to please some god or goddess. Leyurduhum. These associate gods, you know, they are killing their offspring for them so that they make them perish. Destroy them. And they have made them confused about their religion. What they are doing? And had Allah decreed, they, would, they couldn't have done so. But because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you the option, freedom of choice. You have been given this life as a testing period. So just ignore them. Just leave them alone. And what they are forging. All these are forged ideas. There's no, there's no, you know, documentary proof that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them this, these instructions. Waqalu hadi third. This is the third superstition. Waqalu hadi an amul wa harsun hijr. And they fixed, you know, some of their animals, cattle, and their crops. But they are forbidden. They are reserved. La yatamuha illa man nashab zahmihim. You know, from this field or crop, or, nobody can eat anything except, you know, they had a list of their own. Only they can have these things. And likewise, some of the cattle. And they also fixed some cattle whose backs were forbidden. Forbidden from either, you know, to, do you go travel on their backs, to ride them? Or carrying loads. No. These, these animals, they are dedicated to such and such idols, to such and such gods and goddesses. Now you can't touch them. And then they had fixed certain cattle. We can't take the name of Allah while sacrificing them. 
बिकॉज वी हैव यू नो डिवोटेड दम टू सच एंड सच गॉड एंड गॉड इज नाउ अल्लाह नेम कैन नॉट बी टेक ऑल दीज थिंग्स वर कनकॉक्टेड इफ तेरा आ गए दे हैड कनकॉक्टेड दीज थिंग्स इन्वेंटेड दीज थिंग्स बट देन दे they were saying that these things are from allah sayyad zihim bima kanu yaftarun allah subhanahu wa taala will very soon recompense them reward them punish them from what concoctions they were doing wa qalu ma fi butun hadhil anam khalisatun li zukurina and another one and they say that whatever is in the wombs of these cattle this she sheep or she goats or she cow قالوا ما في هذا ما في بطون هذا الانام خالصه لذكورنا it is exclusively for our males wa muharramun ala azwajina and it is forbidden our wives cannot take it cannot eat from it wa yakun maitatan and if it is born dead for whom fi shuraka then both of them males and females could eat it so yajzihim wasfahum allah subhanahu wa taala will very soon recompense them for all these things allegations that they have made against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala innahu hakimun alim verily he is all wise all knowing qad khasar alladhina now they are the comments on these superstitions of theirs qad khasar alladhina qatalu auladahum people who killed their own offsprings to please the idols or gods and goddesses they have thrown themselves in loss the very ilm without any authority without any knowledge without any document documentary knowledge muharramu ma razaqahum allah they have deprived themselves what allah subhanahu wa taala had given them allah had given him them a son a daughter and they presented it and sacrificed it at the altar of some god and goddesses iftira ala allah and again it is an iftira a concoction and they are attributing it to allah qad dallu wa ma kanu muhtadin they have gone astray and they were not the people rightly guided wa huwa alladhi ansha jannati marushat and it is he who raised up gardens supported and unsupported you know this the trees these plants of grapes they are supported they can't go they can't stand by themselves maru shatin bagair maru shatin and there are other which don't need any support wal nakhla and the date palm was zara and the crop yielding different types of mukhtalif al ukuluhu different types of edibles was zaitun 